Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a quick tip for powering on and off your CR6SE or any other printer for that matter from anywhere without purchasing an expensive add-on. I bought this originally for my Ender 3 but I've since picked one up for my CR6 as well so let's jump right in. Turn the printer on. Got it. Turning the printer on. Hey, turn the printer off. Got it. Turning off the printer. Okay, so these are smart plugs. These particular ones are called TP-Link CASA smart Wi-Fi plug minis. I'm sure others will work just fine, but these are what I use and they are fairly inexpensive. We'll get to the prices in a moment. But first, let me go into some detail about why I even thought of using these. The very first one of these I bought was for my bedroom LED lamp about a year ago, because who doesn't hate when they lay down in bed and realize they left the damn light on? That's me, every single night. Not even kidding. So it works great for that purpose too. <laughs> the only reason I ever even had the idea to throw one on my Ender 3 was because I was starting a six hour print one day before work and I didn't want the printer to sit there running for an extra three, four hours before I was able to get home and shut it off. Okay, let's take a quick look at the app here and see just what you can do with it. First off, I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set one of these plugs up. After you've downloaded the app and gone through the login process, you'll simply click this plus sign in the top right. In this pop-up, click Device. On this page, you'll see a lot of the smart devices they offer, but we're going to click Smart Plug Light Mini. And from here, it's going to take you through connecting it to your Wi-Fi, and you can name the plug whatever you want. So you can use it with your Amazon Alexa or your Google Home devices. It literally takes about five minutes, if that. Now on the main screen, when you open the app, you'll have all your devices listed and you can simply click the on off button on the right of them from here. But in our case, we're gonna click the CR6 button, not the power icon, the button. And this will open up a page where we have a big on off button in the middle of the screen and some other options at the bottom, schedule, timer, away, and runtime. I've honestly never used anything other than the timer, so we're just gonna focus on that in this video. Once you've opened up the timer, you can scroll through the amount of time you want it to run before it shuts off. You can click here and it will change it to on or off, so the timer will either turn the device on or off depending on what this button is set to. Click start at the bottom and you're good to go. Now, how long do you set the timer for? Well, if we look at Cura, after you slice, it gives you a time estimation in the bottom right. I'm sure other slicers will give you this info as well, but in my case, I use Cura. Now what I do, since this estimation isn't 100% reliable, is add a half hour to an hour extra to the timer on the smart plug. That way I'll know for sure that the print finishes before the power is shut off to the printer. Even if it does sit there running for an extra half hour after the print finished, that's a lot better than it sitting there for three, four, or five more hours just wasting power. And I don't have to worry about being there to shut it off when the print finishes either. Also. You can turn any devices connected on or off from your phone even when you're not home. It's win-win in my opinion. So in short, these smart plugs are absolutely a must-have add-on for me for any printer I have. Okay, let's go on to the pricing. The first one that I bought for my bedroom lamp was from Best Buy and I believe at the time it was like $18. However, when I bought these for my printer, I found a two-pack on Amazon for less than the one at Best Buy. Now, they're currently sold out on Amazon, but you can see now it's the same price for one at Best Buy as it is for two at Amazon. You can decide for yourself where you wanna get them from. Best Buy also has a two pack that I believe is $25. Now, I like Best Buy as much as anybody else, but I'm gonna go ahead and save myself $10 by getting two of these from Amazon. Okay, now a quick mention. I received my Xbox Series X yesterday that I ordered from Best Buy.
wanted to lay it on its side because it won't fit on my shelf under my TV if it's upright. There are little rubber feet on it that came from the factory, but I don't trust that the side of my brand new console won't get scuffed up laying like that. So I designed and printed these risers to keep it about 15 millimeters off the shelf. And I printed them out of TPU. You could print these out of PLA or another harder filament, but I would suggest gluing foam or something on top of them so you don't scuff up the console. Also, there is a centerpiece that I don't have in this video. I threw it in for those who want it, but in my opinion, it's not necessary. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with a video of me finishing up that design and getting it ready in Cura. Appreciate you tuning in and a big thank you to my subscribers new and old I know I've said it before but it really means a lot to me that you all tune in to watch my videos I appreciate you all wholeheartedly okay all the links will be in the description I'll catch you in the next one and as always have the best day ever So these smart plugs are absolutely a must-have add-on for me from now on for any printer I have. Why do I say it like that? Okay, and now a quick mention. Can I received my Xbox Series S. X I received. I received my Xbox Series X. Yes, there's English man, English.